<laughs> hey guys, it's Tamar Vio again with another video and sorry I didn't upload yesterday. I got meetings to record but I just didn't feel like it. But um yeah, I'm back with my second part. I'm gonna try to get these videos out more often, maybe multiple a day, maybe. My internet sucks so it might take a while for the videos to actually upload. But yeah, I'm gonna try and upload this playthrough more often. Also, I'm gonna record Sonic Adventure right after I finish editing this video. So that'll probably come out a few hours afterwards because like I said my internet sucks. But anyway. Hey guys, future Tay Marvio here. Um okay, so um first of all, sorry for not uploading in such a long time. Well, I mean I have uploaded, but I mean like the next I mean this specific video and the um and the Sonic Adventure playthrough. But um yeah, I I just kept putting this off, but now I finally just decided to finish it. Um so like I passed me said I am going to finish editing, editing this, which I am doing, I'm going to pop back up at the end of the video, because at some point the sound gets delayed, I'm not sure why, and I can't figure out how to fix it, because the editing software I'm using kind of sucks, but, um, yeah, the sound will end up being delayed, I'll pop back at the end, pop back up at the end just to, um, like, fix the outro, because that gets cut off, but, um, yeah, that's pretty much everything I wanted to say. Um, um, I guess if you last to the end of the video, then I'll see you then. Um, say bye. Let's get right into it. So we we at last left up. Okay, you can ignore that. That was my sister being weird. But um, yeah, we la we last left off. My s <laughs> we last left off. We were stuck in this in the closet, the, the dining car. Cause the train was being all weird. So, um, what's this? It's always hidden in the trash, so let's check there. Sadly, it's empty. But on the right side, this is a very clean trash bin. How do become as optimistic as this kid? That trash bin does not look empty, but okay. Um, Michelle, blocking her exit. It's currently not budging. But hey, Mario, look closely at this. Ooh. One of this side of the shelf got smashed. There's nothing the shelf could fall into, and I'm sure there's damage here before. The train has too much upkeep. Flip this is important, we should log it. Cracking the shelf would add to my inventory. Uh, yes, I just grabbed the crack and put it in there. Uh, um, okay. Alright, the wet floor is not keeping people alert and safe. So I sipped some spilled juice at the grocery store. No, le no wet floor sign at all. Luckily, Sonic was there to catch me. Now, Sonic really is as fast as they say, but he was going so fast he also slipped on the juice. <laughs> we slipped into an older gen and we slipped into an older gentleman's shop shopping cart. Well, so that, that counts, I suppose. Um. I guess everything else is just repeat, yeah, um, there's nothing else I can click, so let's go to Amy, I guess, this latest, I'm fine, please did I, found a spoon, if we find two more, we can dig ourselves out, dig ourselves out, on a train, I'll keep looking, um, talk, I'm gonna keep clues, oh, wait, no, we already did that, um, okay, I guess, start interrogation then, no, we don't have enough evidence. Um, okay, he's got me another way out of here. I can't move the screen around. Um, oh. Let's see, what do you think, Tails? Want me to cook any of this for you? Get out of here, sure. I don't never make microwave meals. I prefer to cook. My cast iron skillet has gotten a lot of use lately. I can cook a meat cast iron pizza. <laughs> I don't have microwave lunches this week. <laughs> um. Oh, I don't. Is there anything else to go on? Oh, no, no.
Who's in the bus I can click on? I don't know, dude. Chocolate? I... Yeah, we still... Yeah, we still have enough evidence. Hey, what am I supposed to do? What is that? What? I... Ugh. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to cut until I find out what the heck I'm going... I'm supposed to do. So, um, I guess I'll see you in a few minutes because I'm struggling right now. Ten seconds later. Okay, so I found it and I feel kind of stupid for not finding it earlier. But, yeah, we've got the stick right here. Um, let's go and target Amy now. Amy, you believe you're hiding something from us? What, you accuse me on my own birthday? Can't believe you, Tails. How dare you? This isn't going to be easy, is it? Knowing Amy, I don't think it will be. I've been stuck in here just like the two of you. What in the world do you think I'm hiding? Amy was awake before Tails and I were. What could she have done in that time? She could have attempted to escape. I don't think there was an idly about Tank Mario when I were knocked out. You attempted to escape the closet. Prove it. Show me evidence that I attempt to escape or help me search for a way out. Do you have evidence to prove that? Tim Mario, you'll need to you do this. First, to find the correct piece of evidence from your inventory. So that's been deduced, you must form an argument to fight back. Alright, let's do it. For proof that Amy attempted to escape the dining car. This looks an awful lot like a Pico Pico hammer, so yeah, this one. I'm not I'm sure this will convince Amy, let's give it another try. Okay, that might be like the second piece of evidence, if there is a second piece. This is probably the first one, so. But some damage on the shelf is supposed to prove something. It fell over. Damage makes sense. You have no argument. You're you're grasping. Oof. Okay, Tails. What now? Well, why not follow this train of thought? How does the crack in the shelf relate to Amy? So now I have to explain myself. Well, you see, I am um, well. When I get stuck, I like to think. What would Sonic do? What would Sonic do? Sonic's a force to be reckoned with. He's always running forward, collecting rings, crushing batniks. He never loses, like in Ellen's Runner game. I play a lot of those on my phone. Uh, sure, whatever works. Just close your eyes and think, what would Sonic do? And find your argument. Alright, let's prove we're not grasping. Let's follow the train of thought and come back. Like Sonic would do. Think. Think, Tamar Rio. Think. Okay. I bet. Oh, we just gotta clip in the things. What? Oh, okay. Okay, yeah, okay, I get it now. That, that seems fun. Sure. The shelf, the, 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 the shelf fell, but there's nothing around for the shelf to fall into. You're telling me, on a train this well kept, that the damage was here before we arrived? Well, I, I believe someone's responsible for hitting the shelf. You, you just said nothing was around for the shelf to fall into. What was the shelf hit with then? Now this is where the stick comes in. What was that, the stick? Drew me a stick can do this kind of damage. Think. Think, Tame Mario. Think. <laughs> oh, yeah. I like my wings. Alright. This part of the game just seems pretty fun. You're right, a stick can't do this kind of damage to the shelf it's on its own. But if it's attached to something that could, like let's say, a hammer. It, this isn't a stick at all, is it? It's actually the handle, handle to the Pico Pico hammer. I knew it. You attempted to hit the shelf out of the way, but you failed. The, ham, the handle to the hammer snapped right off. Uh... We did it. Since you both say said I tried to get us out, out, out I tried to get us all out for hammer my hammer but I fell. I gave the shelf one big whack and the handle ripped right off. 
I figured it was no big deal and tried to hide it, but I suppose my embarrassment got the better of me. She does look gen genuinely sorry about the situation. I never expected your hammer to snap like that, ain't it? Yeah, that hammer has been used some stuff. I'm surprised that bookshelf snapped it. Now, what's the heck? What the heck is it made out of? It was one of my backups. It's a little wider to carry around. I didn't think I'd need it. Open book for you. I'm a detective, and I never was a mechanic. <laughs> Let's see. Let's, let me see both pieces of hammer. Just tighten these here. We'll double grease there, and fixed. That was fast. Tails. <laughs> Thank you. Tails. Tails to go. Anyway, according to my calculations, if you hit the shelf right here, it should do the trick. Alright, stand back everyone. I am going to blow up the planet. The shelf completely shattered. Incredible. We did it. We're free. Great job, great job Amy. Let's get out of here. We live. Yeah. Wait, is that? It can't be. Sonic, someone murdered my dog and Sonic, why are you so happy? <laughs> Looks like the game's begun. I'm finding out who did this at once. Amy, wait, I want to figure out who did this too. Wait for me. Whoa, whoa, man. I'm exhausted already. That was really convincing, Sonic. Sonic? saying I don't understand I just need to rest Sonic Sonic is he actually hurt he, he's not moving are these wounds on him genuine my hands on his wrist but I don't sense a pulse pulse am I doing this right mm, the world's going on I mean you can also just put your hand on his chest or his neck that also works so I guess Sonic doesn't have a neck so yeah his chest so it's part of the murder mystery or is this serious Sonic, Sonic, wake up, man! Oh no, no, I'm almost panicking. Calm down, Team Mario. What do I do? I need you to do everything in your power to make sure our pain guests are well taken care of. Understood? These guests are incredibly renowned, which means they must be remarkably rich. So I'll leave their care to you, Team Mario, my favorite employee. Surely you won't let me down on what was right last right. <laughs> oh, that life was so goofy. What the heck? <laughs> I need to catch up to any details and get to the bottom of this. Even if this is part of the game, I just can't risk it. Keep everyone safe, Conductor. We'll see. Yay, character motive. And the murder of Sonic the Hedgehog. Dun dun dun! Saloon car. Hey, Chuckles should be here. Oh, look at this. Well, wow, look at this place. Um, Talos, where you at? Up to Marvel, I'm over here. I think Amy's already gone ahead. Seems she's really excited. Did you need something for me? Uh, yeah, just a question, really. Uh, how do I put this? What if Sonic is actually hurt? <laughs> He's laughing. Sonic doesn't go down so easily. He's on a train full of his friends, and nothing will actually happen to him. We're just all really committed to the mystery for Amy. After you have nothing to worry about. Promise. And then the end of the game, the train's actually evil, and the train did this to him. And yeah. Plus, Sonic has to nap in a lot of strange spots. He's fine. He's making a lot of sense, but I can't shake what Sonic said to me. Is this really part of the murder mystery game, or is there something deeper happening? I need more evidence to figure out what's going on. Alright, can I tag along with you? Uh, of course. I don't know if I ever need a snack, you got me. <laughs> Fair. As I said, the best detectives are sidekicks. Sidekicks. So I'm happy to have you. If you catch me looking dumb though, this knows because uh, what's my little car? Or 
The last guy who could kill me in the chart practice to join the evil Dr. Eggman. Man, I can't believe that Flicky. That Flicky's evil. Not a real friend. Not a proper detective without baggage. This is true. Mm, you just the Evarmits. What you doing in my saloon? He's trying to so hard to stay in character. Knuckles, we're trying to figure out who murdered Sonic. I can see that. Amy, Mo Amy Mosey the really told me all about it. Cough. <sighs> Enough of that. What the hell won't he kept that voice up for Amy? And we were, we were wondering if you could tell us what happened, what, 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 what you were up to before the murder. Anything that helps establish your alibi? Nope. I ain't going to tell either of you. Leave me alone. He's obviously agitated about some but why take it out on us? I know better than, than to argue with Knuckles, so it seems we're on our own. Tim Arbia, we need to figure out what Knuckles was up to while we were all apart. Let's investigate the clues and then interrogate. Right, let's do it. Oh boy, more interrogations. Um, let's see. Okay, so there's a lot of stuff to click here, actually. Okay. That's funny. The door is locked tight. We can't go any further. How do you lock that kind of door? <laughs> it's probably very obvious, and I'm probably just stupid, but what the heck? <laughs> I wonder how Amy was able to leave then. <laughs> um, good point. When, when, were these, when, when were these doors locked, and how long were they locked for? We'll have to keep this in mind. <laughs> True story. Um, okay. The robotic arms here are really helpful. So I'm um, doing some my hair. Fix it up a bit. That's incredible. Interesting tech. Uh oh, should I fix my job a little bit? I woke in a microwave. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Um, uh, the bow, the the, the bowl of what it is? The classic saloon snack. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Kind of bland. Seems like some looks all so awkward. Uh, this is boosting. Or maybe they're just insulted. Rotating views. Oh. The train passes by some incredible sights. I'm just happy to be traveling at a normal speed. I get nauseous pretty easily. I have to avoid them like roller coasters. You definitely can't chill with Sonic then. I don't mind roller coasters though. Though I do find myself running on the tracks more than I do riding at the carts. I'll never understand this friend group. <laughs> Let's see, something's always hitting the trash. Let's check there. Sadly, this one's empty as well. I don't think your theory or something always being hit in the trash is fog. There's gonna be something hitting in the trash at the end of the game. <laughs> I I'm telling you right now. It's only a matter of time, Tails. Have faith. Let's just say, one man's trash is another man's treasure. Ha. I think Tails is ignoring me. Okay, arcade machine. Clearly, we only would get, we won't be able to give the game Super Monkey Ball a try. Uh, that, that's really broken. What the heck? What the heck happened here? Do, do, do we think it broke when the train? Do we think it broke when the train sped up? The damage looks damage looks to be caused from punches. Yeah, no, Knuckles. Knuckles, he's probably playing the game and then lost and then punched it. That doesn't seem too out of character for him, actually. Who could have done that? Yes. Yeah, really obvious. I mean, the man has spikes on his boxing gloves. <laughs> what are you two looking at me for? Smash arcade machine. Smash arcade's attitude. Oh, um, dang. Ooh, I knew this was clickable. A decent catch for finding this robot. Maybe I'll keep an eye out. Yes. Omo Chow is finally wanted. No one has to suffer under him anymore. Yes. Well, Omo Chow. I hate to see him like this. Actually, like Omo Chow? What the heck? <laughs> what they do? <laughs> Medical malpractice? <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm sorry. What? <laughs> um. Cups. Hey, Mario, this is interesting. What is it? It's just a few used cups. Sure, but why are they dirty? Uh, are those really thirsty? So why not just use the same cup? Um, Tim Murphy, this one has lipstick on the rim. Ooh, 
It's not Knuckles' color. It's not Knuckles' color at all. Someone was supposed to be here. What do you mean? Knuckles is literally red. That's red. <laughs> we should log this. You have to catch your attitude and you told me. Okay, I think we found enough clues. Let's go interrogate Knuckles and find out what really happened. Chuckles. What's up, man? I thought I told you to leave me alone. And I like your hat. <laughs> Knuckles, are you blushing? I said leave me alone. Doesn't look like he's used to being complimented. Did you just adjust your hat a bit until we can see it better? I said leave. Um, start the interrogation. Knuckles. Team Harvey and I need to determine what you were doing during the hour the murder take pl took place. I already told you, buzz off, you're not getting anything out of me. <laughs> Thankfully, we don't need you to say much. What happened here is pretty obvious. It, it is? We, we have evidence too. We do? Same Harvey. Just take a good look at our inventory. Maybe we've got some pretty solid evidence, I can see that. Well, was tracking Nichols during the time Sonic was murdered. The arcade machine? Nah. What buttons do you think I touched it? Knuckles, did you really just ask that question? I, uh, okay. I guess it would just be a no brainer. Ah, no worries! Okay, okay, real well, good. You have no argument here. <laughs> you are weak. Now, which... Tim Harvey, let's follow that train of thought again, shall we? Yes. Right. I'm using it once this time. Look, look. Okay, I may or may not have just lost a few rings, but that, that's not the point. We did it. We, we, we got it. Got a light bulb, light bulb moment. Moment. <laughs> this isn't a tough one, Knuckles. Knuckles, you clearly touched the arcade machine because it's one of my most favorite games. Covered in punches. Covered in punches. Do I have you have the dang of punches? <laughs> Can't see it, but I'm shaking my head. <sighs> what are you all staring at my hands for? Knuckles, you clearly destroyed the arcade machine, but why? I needed a punching bag and never were available to me. <laughs> Just a sudden urge to punch, huh? I believe you're the arcade machine will give us our answer. <laughs> How will you? I'm on it. Say Mario, distract Knuckles while I fix the Super Monkey Ball <laughs> to bring it on. <laughs> oh lord. Plot twist, this is me running away from Knuckles. Anyway. I think Knuckles lost the game and then he punched it. it makes sense. I probably do that if I want to too. I'm saying let's get away from that, but I can't get it. Tim Mario, try again. I have to get some monkey ball fits. <laughs> He's not trying to let us see that you lost. So I'm absolutely convinced that that's what happened. <laughs> God dang it, I fell again. Okay, machine's fixed. No, don't look at the scores. Click, look at the scores. <laughs> I'm pulling it up now. <laughs> he punched it because he was one point away. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's hilarious. Nook was one point away from being that beating Hector. I guess technically two, but still. That <laughs> That's hilarious. What's this tell us? <laughs> Nothing, obviously. It tell, tells us something massive. Look at the name at the top of the list. It's Vector. 
he's supposed to be in the library hall. Mm. The picture's being painted here. You competed with Vector to see if you could get the highest score, and Vector beat you. In frustration, you destroyed the arcade cabinet. Yeah, he's punching the air in frustration. So guessing, where's your proof? Where's your evidence? Vector's a common name. Proof to me he was here. Now! Okay. This time we're getting really high rings. Vectors here of Knuckles. Um, here. Oh, yeah, I don't know who's feeling there was more than one cup sitting next to you. Yeah. Well, you were supposed to be pa participating in the murder mystery game for Amy's birthday. You and Vector enjoyed some drinks playing arcade. It's. I. It's not like. Uh, it's not. It wasn't. Uh, don't, don't tell any. I think we're thinking on the right track here. But as you say, Vector popped in at the, at the top of the hour when he played the arcade machine with me. We were back and forth trying to figure out, the, trying to figure the game out. When we did, we competed for the highest score. When he bested me, I showed the machine. No proof of his win. I was trying to fix our cake happen before you two came in. Honest, I didn't want to be caught. And that's my story, and I'll lie. I'm already told in the bridge for a version of this to Amy. Boy, this friend group has a lot of pride issues. Yeah, that's true. That cleans one of the, that, that cleans one of the used cups. What if the cup with the lipstick mark? Rouge was in here too. Oh wow. It's inconsequential. Not worth not worth mentioning. She searched around for something but failed and made fun of her game and left. Obnoxious that one. But you offered her a drink, but apparently. Listen, I don't know why she showed up, and I told you everything that happened before this train before the train sped up. You're not satisfied. Well you two were like I'm gonna be sending the scenario. Vector visited to play play games, Rouge couldn't find something and left, and then Knuckles destroyed the machine. Oh makes sense to me. Thank you for answering so many of our quest actually. It's not everything, is it, Knuckles? I want to step back to something I noticed. One more name in that high school list, Does, it doesn't make sense. Hey Mario, can you take a look one more time? I don't name the high school list, what's Tails talking about? Oh. Hmm. Was Shadow here too? Cause that looks like Ultimate. Yeah, Shadow, because he's the ultimate life form. Yeah. And there's really something here that goes by that. Nothing sneaks by you, does it? But Vector and I were struggling so much with the game, but then Shadow dropped by. So Shadow was here too. He taught us the game was the first to get his name on the scoreboard. Vector and I then fought to beat Shadow's score. They're both very annoying. You all, you all immediately had to compete, huh? Yeah, that, see, that sounds like them alright. He gave me this before you left. The key. Shadow told me to lock the door and to not open it for anyone, and he left. When Vector was leaving, I locked the door behind him, saw no one else after locking the door. That's the honest truth. So when Amy came through here not so long ago, she opened the door for her? No, I think she has some sort of key too. Oh, that's right. The conductor gave her that special birthday key. Well, I have a lot of questions. What happened at the library to call his rector to come here? Why is Shadow locking doors and what's Rouge searching for? I don't know, they didn't tell me. Even though I asked with that even though I asked with that cowboy accent. Hey, you're gonna have to find them asking yourself. More information than I expected to get there. But it seems we can move on. As of right now, we need your story knuckles. But only enough for sure we we confirm things with Vector. Fair enough. The library is in the next car. Oh, the walk me. Give Rip and Kale something earful for me. Detective Tails and Butler. How could better be what I'm talking was? 
Blue Dude Sheriff, come on, come on, hey Mario, let's head to the library. On it. This is way more exciting than Mark Wave and Chili Dogs. Hey Mario, on it. Alright. Okay, Mosey Taps, the next car. Um, yep, we got a partner. Onwards. Wide Prairie Car. Kind of surprised how all these books haven't fell off the shelf, but whatever. All the stuff here, get all the stuff's getting heavy. I'll drink what I don't need. Everyone's fa favorite journalist reporter, Amy Rose, is hot on the scoop. I'm heading out. You two, you've been fabulously helpful. Already? Before you go, Espion, I wanted to give you our presents. My presents? We're both his feet. Thank you. Vector, it seems we have more guests. Amy, there you are. Um, you found any leads? No, the detective buried himself in the birthday girl. She knows everyone's allowed to be sassy on her birthday. Steps is too ju juicy to ignore. I see you all around. Don't worry, Sonic. I'll be the one to avenge you. And quick. How are you gonna leave? The door to the next car is locked. Oh, you doubt the birthday girl. The birthday girl is a master key. Right, right. The birthday girl gets the birthday key. Of course, it's a birthday pri 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 privilege. I'll solve this case for everyone, anyone else. Bye. Amy may be hasty, but she's there. Now, what are you two doing? Look, my suspicious, I say. I'm the detective, so I can't be the murderer. And I'm, uh... You know, I'm just making sure things go well. Things aren't going great. Not sure if you've forgotten, but there was a murder. Well, I mean, besides that... Besides murder... My social skills... Not existing. I swear they literally just observed me and literally put me in the game. Cause what the heck? I'm Vector, the butcher. I must have had a wild meat. And I'm SBF, the poet. Not poetry. Um, I read a re 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 resonant message from poet to, to reader. Meant to challenge our delicate um, p p perspectives with most. With, with, Rhythmic of pro. I, I can't speak. <laughs> Can I hear some? Sure. Uh, do you have in the spring? Can you hear me sing? La la la. La. D D D D. I don't know if that was actually good or not. I don't like poetry. <laughs> was that it? I have more if you like. Cherry blossoms in the spring. Uh, I'm satisfied for now, thanks. This is wrong, I suppose. Mario and I were here to establish both of your alibis. Can you walk us through what happened after Amy had everyone leave the dining car? That was very simple. We explained this to Amy, actually. We all sent off, sent off Rouge Blaze and Shadow all passed through this the library. All passed through the library car. Alright, alright, makes sense. Uh, Amy told me and that's able to stay. I promptly picked up a book on the shelf and make myself hot comfortable. SBO got, I mean, <laughs> Vector got, I got bored, so I thought go see what Knuckles is up to in the saloon car. Yep. Where was Rouge? What happened to see your lipstick say on a cup on a saloon car? Rouge came over in the library car, seemingly looking for something to try Then she went to search the saloon car. She came back shortly after. Her shout, no way, had the brochure or sand over there. But she left. Um, back to the um, casino car before Shadow came through and locked the door. Wonder what she found. She softly went on the hunt for something. After Rouge left, Shadow walked through the casino door car, then under the library car and locked the door behind him. More importantly, why has Shadow been locking doors? Shadow walked through the library car to the saloon car, where Amy and Knuckles, where Amy and Knuckles and I were playing games. He insisted on showing that he insisted on showing us up at Super Monkey Ball. I got so engrossed by the rolly monkey, by the rolling monkey action, I hardly noticed when Shadow left the saloon car. I guess he walked through the library car to the casino car again while locking the door behind him. Then returned to the lounge car where, it was meant, where, it was, where he was meant to be stationed. When Vector came back, we lost Knuckles locked the door to the saloon car, so we were stuck in the library car. That's when the train sped up, we were worried about the bookshelves following us, but we got through it alright. 
who sat trapped here until Amy arrived asking questions. She's the one that told us some, that someone murdered Sonic. And yeah, that's all that happened. With all these locked doors, it seems as director of SBO can have the library card or the saloon card. Thank you for both your thank you for both your cooperation. We're just gonna sneak around, peek, I'm peeking around, and we will turn with any questions. If you return with any meat, I'll chop it up for you. And if you like to be ser ser serenaded with a poem, I got you covered too. Thanks, guys. Yeah, that seems solid enough, but we should still search for clues. But we're looking for any providence at we're looking for any evidence that proves what they're saying is true. We need to confirm that there's reason for leaving this post and determine if SPO is actually in the library for our meeting. It's all to ask, but we can do it. Let's get to the bottom of this tales. Absolutely. Alright, so, um, books. So many books on the ground. Wish we had time to put, come, pick them all up. I sadly have no interest in picking up these books. All of these were knocked off by the train. Not, were knocked out by the train speeding up. But Rouge pulled all of these out too, searching for some reckless behavior. I feel sorry for the poor books. The spines are, their spines are freezing. They're opening too far. This kid feels empty, empty for everything. Yes, yes he does. Now let's t let's just take a pause. Let's just take a pause and sit for a second. His chairs are very comfy. So plush. Must be right in the mood to read. Makes me want to take a nap, personally. In fact, maybe I rest my eyes for a bit. Hey Mario, no, don't fall asleep. There's been a murder, remember? But I had a ring for every time a murder re ruined my nap time. How many times? Did, how many times did a murder ruin your nap time? Chad was supposedly walked through the library car before going to the saloon car. Chad left the library car. He he locked his door on the way out. There's gotta be a reason he's doing this. Maybe we should take note of it. Yeah, I believe we should. Shadow's lock is added to my inventory. Okay. Uh, a child hangs precarious even with tree branch. Watch sex below weeds hang in there. Wow, I don't really need to see this. This little child's hanging in there, refusing to use the swings to fly safe to safety. Because choosing the hallway is often the most rewarding. That's beautiful. This child will stick to his principles and find strength, and I can too. There's no way there's that much thought put into this poster. Right? Ooh, brochures. Here are travel destinations here like amusement parks, caverns, hotels, restaurants. Oh. Tomorrow, look at this. Here's a couple maps here. There seems to be a map of the library car. The books are categorized by genre, which are listed here. Let's have a, I love a good overhead map. Let's take it. Library map added to my inventory. Should we take this pro ship? Should we take this pro ship out of cave too? Looks like there's some stalactites. No, I'll leave it. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Nobody shares my farm. Nobody shares my fondness for caves. Something's always hidden in the trash. Let's check there. I hate to say it, but there's nothing there. I really thought there'd be something there. Marvin, are you sad? Are you sad there was nothing in the trash bin? Nope, I'm alright. Uh, I'm sure there'll be something in the next trash bin we find. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna stay, stay optimistic. Yeah, yeah, okay. Okay, these trash bins have had a secret, I'm sure of it. Hey Mario, you're pretty unconventional, but I like that. Is that supposed to be a compliment? Um. Okay, robot hand. I'm poor thing. I'm just really struggling with cleaning up this car. To be fair, I don't want to clean up all this mess either. Let's just leave it alone and do its thing. Yeah, probably for the best. A globe of our mar marvelous planet. I haven't traveled around much. These islands are fun and all, but I like to visit some of the countries. Yeah, they're fun, honestly. Plenty of wonderful people with shops. Their food, the food can't be beat either. That sounds perfect for a vacation. The conductor was talking about Spagonia if you've ever been there. I have actually. If you're ever visiting the place, be sure to stop at the um, university and say hi to Professor Pickle. He'll tell you everything about the area. Make one scrumptious sandwich. Now keep that in mind. Thanks. It's good news. Uh, no, everyone's been everywhere, haven't they? Yeah, really. 
Also, Mr. Mr. Pickles is really precise about his sandwiches. Cause he was like, um, you didn't cut the sandwich slices perfect at this exact milliliter. Oh my, can't you don't even know how to make a sandwich? <laughs> so that sandwich has to be good, otherwise it's a fraud. <laughs> um, I think that was everything. Oh, oh no, there's this book right here. What's this bright red book? <laughs> Look, this reeks is the, this reeks of the evil scientist Dr. Eggman. Now this is Dr. Eggman's auto autobiography recipe book. What kind of recipes? Who cares? I don't trust any book he's written. It's weird this is even here. Maybe people just appreciate an omelet. Mm, you may not be wrong. I feel like Eggman. Ooh, I feel like Eggman bit this train, and that's why Sonic seemed to actually hurt because Eggman made it so that way. Ooh, yeah. Mm, ooh, and maybe the maybe like the conductor is in on it. Maybe like maybe it was like, like Eggman is in disguise or something. Oh. See, okay, I'll go, uh, go uh, check out the uh, book club book of the month. Gone gal. That's it. Huh. Well, um, have a oh, ah, oh, wish I could stop and look at all these books, but Sonic really needs me. No time to rest. All right, let's move on then. Well, I mean, a little peek wouldn't hurt. He's scavenging all the book titles excitedly. It's like a can can shop. Or in this case, a genius, genius in a train library. Hmm, that's all. I know some books that fall in four and everything, but every book on these shelves is in alphabetical order. But this one, the Mirage Express manual. And just see this the Mirage Express the train we're currently on. Do you think someone found it on the ground and put it back? Maybe, but it is interesting. Let's make note of this. Um, Mirage Express manual is added to your inventory. I think we found enough clues. Let's go and check a factory and ask you to find out what really happened. Alright. Can I see a poem? Uh, can I get a poem about space? Train out of space. Let's go there. I made it up to space. My beloved antique vase. But, a mistake. But, yeah. I made it up to space. With my beloved. I made it up to space. With my beloved antique vase. But a mistake in my haste. Drop the vase from my embrace, so my antique I must now replace. What caused you to drop the vase? Don't read too deeply, it's just a poem. He hasn't got it through, has he? Anyway, and terror. Wait, I wonder what happens if I say this. I have a poem like this. My starved stuff babble, though I ignore the grumbling tummy, for the eggs I received are scrambled. When I ask for my, when I ask for my eggs, Sunny. Well, um, we don't serve eggs on the train, though. My talent is wasted on you, why? <laughs> okay. Interrogation time. So the two of you don't believe us, eh? That's why I don't trust either of you. But it wouldn't be proper but I wouldn't be a proper detective without examining the valid the the validity that whatever of your alibis. Tomorrow, Gail and I are here to confirm two things. My vector left to go play games with Knuckles, and Espio really was the reading in the library part. Vector will start with you. Uh, why did why did you leave the card? Why did you leave the library card to visit Knuckles? We prepared the pre we prepared to present the evidence of me. Oh, that's easy. I got bored. Wow. But most entertained from another teams. Back to enjoy being social. Plus, we we're, were instructed to mingle, and I remember the arcade machine with this new car, so I figured I'd go check it out. It seems to line up with the information we gathered with Knuckles. Having set our attention to you, SBO, we've entered the library car, found something, and then left. You said you immediately started reading, but you were actually, but were you actually reading the entire time you were in the library car? Of course he was. Once Espio starts reading, he doesn't stop until it's done. I've seen it happen. It must be a really good read. What was the book? Espio doesn't know you that. Detective, let the man live. What if it was embarrassing? What kind of things you think I'd be? If you want to talk, I don't know what the book might be. Hey Mario, could you, could you help me out? Alright. Hey Mario, what do we think, what do we think Espio might be even reading? This. A manual? Espio was reading instructions. 
or are we could possibly have to support this? Alright, ooh, four layers. Sure, but the remaining books on the surface were all in alphabetical order. Except this manual, meaning someone at the very least picked the manual up and put it back in the incorrect place. This lack of attention to detail isn't normally like you, SBO. Hey now, I won't have you insulting my pal like that. Calm down, Vector, I know you know, but I can handle myself. Apologies, SBO. Well, <laughs> A butcher and a poet, friendship can fell from any, anywhere. That is, that is indeed the I was reading. The Marsh Express Manual. Trends are cool. If that's the case, we'd like to ask you a few questions about the manual. Hey Mario, if you don't mind. Did you ask SBS some questions about the manual? Just flip to, 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 to the page and ask away. I want to see quiz SP about the manual could be read it. Which way is the quiz more? This one. Okay, what efficient and extremely accurate technology was consulted to insist in keeping the train's powers? Robotic arms, during events they can improve a variety of tasks and are responsible for cleaning up trash and versus afterwards. The Marie Conductor saying the train cleaned itself. The lack of feeling with train companies isn't one higher in the standard. The robotic arms can also detect weapons or explosives being brought on the train, ensuring passenger safety. Since SBO aced that question, it's a mark and move another one. Okay, which place do I choose? Um, page 15. What's the more harsh, um, expresses cancellation policy? No refunds and you'll be charged for no show fee. This is not a problem if you're, uh, if you're over the age of 65. Gee, the person who made this rule book, rule must have been over 65. <sighs> Next one, Tim Mario. Let's see if the SBO can go, go through the three. Alright, which page? Which page? Um, there's no way you got to 402 within an hour. So. We'll, we'll implement to support the conductor duties and ease in, in the general train obligations. An intelligent data processing system that works in tandem with the conductor to ensure smooth travel for guests. And remember this, the train is an autopilot, but it can't act as its full suite company comp 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 capabilities without the conductor present. Now that I pass the good test, um, yes, totally, as well, you're able to obtain all this information so quickly. Poet's brain is often, often surprising. I don't know if I'd be bragging about that. You, you clearly read the manual. Those, those answers feel far too specific for be guesses. Um, if you both have the nerve, nerve to question my buddy like that, then we wouldn't be a support folks who read. You have to admit that we the entire time the murder occurred it does seem a bit suspicious, even if it is true. But he answered all my questions so calmly, that's very impressive. No, no, I don't understand everyone's conscious attitudes. That girl's the only one to see me reading, after all. My alibi is hard to assist. My alibi is hard to su substantiate, despite being the truth. Well, you definitely read through the manual, so I suppose we can. SPO, is that true? In fact, it was the only. Oh, yeah! Because didn't Rouge come in while he was still reading? Because he was supposed to be, because he was supposedly reading the entire time. The same, same thing with Shadow. Good, so, hmm, guess that's correct. Problem. Frankly, I don't believe I can do it. Everyone, so back it up, Tamaria. You was supposed to be on the spot. Okay, Tamaria, I think. What could, what should a piece of evidence link to some of your thoughts be reading? What should have linked a piece of evidence? We should have a piece of evidence to to someone who saw us be a meeting, but when? What? Um, it should be the lock. Shadow, stop. Please, please, pray tell what does this have to do with anything? We're up to Marvel, let's get our argument together. Alright.
nice. Alright. Shadow Walk, you go out your car to get the saloon card. We're each at the original high school game Kate Arcade Machine. Yeah, but in the meeting it, it wasn't high, it wasn't a high school alone. Clark said after the gamers. Ezio said he saw he saw Shadow into the library card, but he mentioned nothing about Shadow's return. He only mentions that Infector came back. When Shadow left, Knuckles and Vector is in the saloon car. Espio is fully seated reading this book for a good while at this point. We know Shadow had to walk back to the library car when he left the saloon car, so there's absolutely no way Shadow and Espio didn't notice one another on Shadow's return trip. Now me oozes will slip up. Yeah, I don't see Espio slipping up like that. Which is fully immersed in my book that I didn't notice Shadow. You're telling me that the sound of doors opening and locking wouldn't have caused you to look up. Well, I can easy. I can sense Espio's inspiration here, defending the argument that he was reading the entire time is easy. So if you didn't see Shadow return from the smooth part and lock all the doors, then at that moment, were you really in the library car at all? But how would Espio leave? Um, Shadow locked all the doors and no one saw Espio in the saloon car. Semester might have needed to Mario. You win the eye with a glove for Espio to solve. You can't believe me. That cool demeanor is vanishing. I was so involved in my book that I didn't know the Shadow passed back to the dark. But I was so involved in my book that I didn't know the Shadow passed back to the library car. Honest, you have to return. He even had to tap me on the shoulder to get my attention. Yeah, I think I remember doing that. I must avenge, I must avenge my friend's death, so I ask you again, Espio. If you weren't there for Shadow to see the meeting, then how did you leave the library bar? I wasn't, I didn't. That doesn't seem right to me. Dale definitely feels like he's on something, but I don't see it. So Espio simply, simply, was Espio simply sitting reading, or did he somehow manage to not know Shadow to turn the library bar? What should I do? Um. Oh man, it's tough. I figure out how you sometimes get so immersed in something that you don't realize that someone's entered a room that has happened to me before, but at the same time, Depths is onto something. So, like, unless um, Shadow just seems like chaos control to teleport back to another car, that is, but, you know, that, that makes sense, but why would Shadow do that? So, um, ooh. Let's just join Tails. No, I can't remember Tails was on or something. I'll continue this line of question again. Hey Mario, if you're my favorite and beloved employee, please protect the passengers before this train must be taken care of. If you fail, the lawsuits will be torturous. They'll not such an old people's soul to get sued. I have to make sure I get them taken care of. I have to speak up. Tails. That would be the evidence I can't answer, 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 answer all our problems on my fellow associate laid on me. A piece of evidence shows so Shadow and Espio couldn't see one another. Ooh, wait, hold on. Mm. Yo, the amount of people fly pretty mad. Yeah, this, this is what, okay. So, yeah, cause you, look, this is the bookshelf right here. Bookshelf, 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 bookshelf. If SPO was sitting here, Shadow could have just walked past, and SPO wouldn't have noticed him. So that's a good, and that's good. If SPO was sitting here, he's not facing the door, so he could have just walked past him again. Hey, this is it. Alright, let's get my watch over. Do you have rings? Try and make me pitch. Okay. Ooh. 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 Okay, you got it. 
we did it. Oh, oh, I see. I see the exit to the right across from one another, a straight path. She had to rock down the straight pass. The path there's a way SBO and Shadow couldn't have seen each other. I guess they would have been right in the right where these bookshelves are. So, yeah. Looks like you have to point out where exactly in the map you mean. Look at FG, SBO could have been for Shadow not to see him. Good here. Interesting. That's where I was sitting reading my book. I can second this when I return from this new car, SBO is in the same spot. I confirmed you found it. You see, Shadow and SBO couldn't see each other from this spot. Because of the book's case, case is in the way. There's no way Shadow could have seen SBO or vice versa. It makes a lot of sense why you never mentioned Shadow could turn SBO. This is the way you would have seen him. I apologize for losing my cool back there. I felt like I was grasping, I was grasping by telling the truth. But I'm glad you all believe me now. The advice is the most airtight, but I have no further points. Thank you both for answering all the questions. We did it. Another pair of al 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 alibis validated. Alright, so we're not going to worry about, but I'm glad everything drained and stuff on the end. Well, I'm exhausted. I'm going to crash here for a bit. These chairs are so comfy. Likewise, I can use a breather. Sadly, our work isn't done. I have plenty of questions for Rouge and especially Shadow. Uh, it seems the door to Mike's car is open. He must have kept it open when she passed through earlier. That's our cue to leave. See you later, Vector and SBA. Give him heck. If you need any meat chopped up, say the word. word. I'll keep the whole tree shop for you both. Murderers on the loose. While the doors keep getting lost. Take tacos to the clock. Clock clock. While the heroes are in the caboose. At this point, I'm feeling pretty confident in our detective alibis. Really good. Dude, we're, we're doing this. Come on, take more look. Let's see what's next. Next, come in. Well, speaking of breathers, this video is over 50 minutes long. So, um, yeah, I think I'm gonna end it here. Um, like I said, I'm gonna record Sonic Adventure after this. Um, after I finish editing. So, yeah, that is gonna come out probably, like, if, if, a, a while. Because for some reason it takes, like, an hour and a half for my videos to upload. And it should take, like, at 20 minutes, apparently. Because my internet sucks, but yeah. So, yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Okay. Um, okay, so Future Tim Mario is back now. Um, yeah, like I said, and like you can clearly see if you made it this far, the audio got delayed, so past me couldn't fi finish the outro. So, um, yeah, um, so I'll see you guys in the next video. I am going to finish recording Sonic Adventure 2 right after I finish, um, like, editing this, like, right after I press the upload button. And like tells me oh so it's gonna take hours for this to upload because of how long it is. But um yeah. Um check out my other videos. I make animations and stuff like that. I'm working on an animation right now. Um that's kind of being put off slash kinda of still being worked on. I'm not working on it as often as I should, but whatever. That is something that I am working on. And if you feel like it, you can bully me in the comments for it. But, um, yeah. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.